So yesterday a question came up on one of the Facebook Hellcat pages uh, regarding what the temperature of the supercharger was after the car had been running. Um, I just bought a new fancy infrared thermometer. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a video showing exactly what the temperature of the supercharger is cold versus after the car has been running for, I don't know, maybe five to 10 minutes. Um, so this is gonna be somewhat of a official video, but uh, right now the car has been sitting. It's been approximately 20 hours since the car was running. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature of the supercharger now. I apologize in advance if camera shakes or uh, I get distracted, that kind of stuff. So, here we go. So, let's see. So, as you can see right now, the temperature of the supercharger is right around 78 degrees, give or take. 79 degrees, depending. So you can see, I get a better picture of the laser from the thermometer, so you can see moving around. Uh, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the car out of the garage and let it run for, like I said, maybe five or 10 minutes. So I won't bore you with that while that's occurring. And then we'll do another video outside once that's finished. However, before I pull it out, I will show you what the car is registering from the point of view of intake temperature, outside ambient temperature, things like that. I'll go ahead and get the car started. from the Uconnect screen that the car is registering an outside temperature of 70 degrees. So we'll go ahead and get to the SRT pages. Oh, lovely. The pages are still loading, so it won't work yet. I'm gonna have to give it a second to load up. Wow, it takes forever for that page, for the SRT pages to become available. I thought they took a long time to load when you, the button was actually working. Christ, you would think Dodge would get some better hardware in these radios so that this stuff loaded faster in this day and age of technology. It's all white, looks like it's ready. Oh, look at that, it's loading. All right, let's see. You can see there's the temperatures after the car's been running for approximately 30, 40 seconds. Look at the intake temperatures. So, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pull the car out of the garage before I succumb to carbon monoxide poisoning. Alright, so I'm going to let the car run for, like I said, maybe 5 or 10 minutes, wait until I see the air intake, or the intake air temperature is, you know, roughly 100 or so degrees. I know to normally when I drive around and the car is sitting still and not moving, I've seen intake temperatures as high as 130 degrees, although with it being pretty cool and breezy out here today, 
might not get that high, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it, like I said, five to 10 minutes to get the car completely warmed up. And then we'll do some more video of, of what the supercharger registers from a temperature perspective. So we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, the car has actually been running for about 20 to 25 minutes now at this point. Uh, you can see from the uh, temperature gauges that it is definitely warm. Coolant temperature is up to 210. Uh, transmission temps up to 118. Oil's up to 217. You can see that the car is still registering 70 degrees outside. Uh, we checked the other gauges. And you can see the uh, intercooler coolant temp is up to 105. Uh, the actual intake temperature is up to 149, 150 solid flash. Uh, so at this point, I'm thinking the car is definitely pretty warm. Uh, would make good for a good test on how hot the supercharger actually gets. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera or not, but you can definitely see the heat coming off of the, the hood of the car. You get the uh, shimmering effect off of the uh, front end. Uh, again, don't know whether this will show up or not. But it's kind of like when you're looking at the uh, asphalt on a hot day, you can see kind of the shimmering effect. Uh, it has actually started to rain a little bit where I'm at, so I'm going to actually back the car back into the garage uh, so I don't have to get myself and the camera wet to do this. So let's see. <laughs> All right, car's back in the garage, so now let's see how hot the supercharger is. Oh, there is the official tape on 
Thank you.